And now, some quick thoughts from man. Hey everyone, welcome to a new segment I like to call Quick Thoughts, where I give my initial impressions of a few shows I either miss, downright ignored for reasons, or just didn't feel really needed a whole video dedicated to it, which is a lot of series, honestly, but I digress. In this segment, I'll even talk about a few web series, which I normally never review, so let's not waste any more time and get right into it. This is a pretty decent show to just have on in the background. The characters are nice and have a sort of enjoyable energy to them. The animation is pretty bright and colorful, the jokes are pretty funny and kind of nonsensical, but still something you find yourself smiling at. You're not going to be on your ass laughing, but you're not going to be absolutely pissed off at it either. It's just some nice, harmless candy. A Mega Man series that tries not to be like the original Mega Man, while at the same time keeps the same tropes of the original Mega Man, like the whole robot-human conflict. You know, just what we've always wanted. Middle of the road Mega Man. But seriously, I don't know why they thought people would want this type of middle of the road crap. Like, it's so afraid to be itself. They have Dr. Light and Rock being a robot, but he's not named Rock in this one. He's named Aki, and his Mega Man form is because of this stupid little assistant in his head. It just makes no sense. They would sort of pay homage to the original games by having 8-bit music and segments sometimes, but they're more non-sequiturs, like, they make no sense as to when and why they happen. They just randomly happen so they can be like, see, we sort of understand the original games, when in reality it just shows how fake they are. Like, they have them there as more for a checklist rather than artistic style. The biggest problem with this show is it's like those CGI filler shows networks would air because they have no new episodes of the good shows ready to premiere. Hell, that's why this is going to be relegated to Boomerang. Like, Jesus, people, just make an original Mega Man series or one based on the other incarnations without doing this middle-of-the-road crap. No one's going to think any less of you for it. Hell, you really don't even have that high of a standard to live up to. The other series were just more or less okay. They weren't great, but... There was something we could enjoy a little bit. Like, NT Network was pretty good. I'm not too sure about the Star Force one, but I think people liked it enough. Mainly because it was its own thing. But this is like, what are you doing? Like, you're just posers with this. And I just can't get on board with it. France, why were you trying to outdo Drawn Together? Scratch that. Why were you trying to outdo Brickleberry? What was the personal acid-induced motivation behind this? Who thought this needed to be on the TV schedule? Hell, what the hell are your censorship laws? At least I hope this isn't on TV. Like, how would you explain this to children if they saw this? Just, just Jesus, man. That being said, I actually learned that prostate orgasms is a thing because of this, so there's that silver lining. why it took me so long to actually watch this show. It's pretty nice, honestly, and I really enjoy the cynical nature of the characters. I even enjoy how it'll play with some characters' tropes by having them be the complete opposite of what you were expecting. It manages to give off what you know most kids going to camp would really think about the experience. Like, the kids are just sort of assholes, and it just makes perfect sense because it's like, yeah, this is a pretty shit camp, and it feels like a total ripoff. So, you kind of see where they're coming from. I just really like the energy of the show. I like how it feels like a kid's show, like those cheap kid shows you would see like early in the morning on most kids' networks. But it clearly is not something kids should be watching. I just really enjoy that aspect of it. It's the early 2000s superhero shows made in 2017. Fantastic. Okay, honestly, it's not a bad show for what it is. The characters are fine, if not a bit generic. It's mostly just a harmless series that's kind of paint by the numbers. It's not great, but it's not something I'd hate having on or watching from time to time. So there's that. It's just very generic, but kind of nice at the same time. You know, the thing about this series was I was supposed to give it a full review when it came out. 
Oops. Ah oh, well, better late than never, I guess. You know, I went into this thinking it was going to be a boring paint by the numbers filler series that Cartoon Network needed to just fill in time slots, but I was wrong for that. This show was a boring paint by the numbers filler series that Cartoon Network needed to just fill in time slots, and it's also fucking inconsistent. Like, for some reason, it takes place during the medieval period, but they have technology like the ability to call each other through a phone line. They have this thing called a smart mirror, which is like, come on, really? They have video recording capabilities, so it just makes absolutely no fucking sense. This world is just crazy and stupid. Like, there's no reason or rhyme to it. Just nonsense. And the characters are just so bland and forgotten. Forgettable. Hell, it doesn't even seem like it wants to focus on the characters that much. The first episode doesn't even really introduce them. It just assumes you know who they are and just proceeds to tell a story. Like, hey, you probably know these guys are kind of these crazy, wacky kids and stuff. But it's like, I don't fucking know who they are. You gotta introduce them, man. I don't know how you forget that bare bones basic rule of storytelling. Like, Jesus. It honestly feels like things just happen in it because... Just because, honestly. Like, there's no real reason for it happening. It's just, well, we need this to happen because... Plot. I guess. Whatever. Fuck you. Like, that's what it feels like. Like, there's no natural flow to anything. Honestly, this show is just an inconsistent mess. And that's it for this segment. Are there some shows you think deserve some quick thoughts? Let me know in the comments section. Thanks for watching and be sure to like and make sweet love that subscribe button. And tease that little bell so you'll be notified of new videos since YouTube likes making you work for your entertainment. And consider donating to my Patreon where you can make requests, get your name at the end of the videos, and gain early access. And join the conversation on Discord where you can talk all things animation, gaming, and just downright entertainment. And always remember, it's just a thought. Stop.